Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, my fellow YouTubers, Facebookians. Aries here with a video update. Go check give one of 9 9 2015. So, you're all wondering what happened today. Well, I wore a nice blouse and I wore um, jeans. I wore some cute feminine jeans. I wanted a long skirt, but that didn't happen. So, anyways. First up, I get up around 3.30 because I couldn't sleep. For some reason, I just couldn't sleep. So, I get done, as you all know, and around 5 o'clock, the alarm goes off. Well, I've already sat down, and I did some stuff. I was like, you know, did my Bible this morning, uh, did some letter writing this morning, and business letters, etc., and got them out in the mail. Went by the post office a second time, got me a priority envelope. I'll explain that in a bit. So, 6 o'clock comes. I decide to message Aaron on the phone. I'm like, yo, you up? Yeah. So then he argues with me for 20 minutes about clothing choices. So I threw something together, and I was like, what do you think? He's like, that looks good. So we walk up there to the clinic. But on our way, we had to stop at the store to get some soda. Aaron's like, well, they didn't have this and they didn't have that, so here's a Pepsi. So, um, well, from the gas station, the hospital was around the corner. So I ran there, went into the bathroom, emptied myself, pissed like a racehorse. I'm on a water pill. So, you know, that's what male hormone blocking spironolactone. It's a diuretic. So I finally get on the bus, and I'm sitting there like this, and... We're driving along, and we pull in seven miles out of town to this little coldest, this little area, right? And I'm like, what the fudge? Old lady gets on. I'm like, can we go? <clears throat> We're driving along, you know, and all of a sudden, some guy's sitting there, and he's like, yeah, transportation center, yeah, yeah, you. He's talking to the driver. I think his name was, like, Leroy or something. I can't remember names of the bus driver yet. But anyways, um... We finally pull in to the transportation center. This guy gets off, and we're not supposed to use a medical shuttle except for um, medical appointments. So he pulls out, you know, and goes to the retirement home. We're like, what the fuck? I'm losing money because I have a therapist appointment. What else is going wrong today, hmm? Finally, because I pay the therapist bill out. I don't, he doesn't take insurance. So we finally pull in to um, to um, we finally pull in to this retirement home and Aaron's like I know we want to say something. So as soon as we get off the bus after our next stop, we were running late. So I'm like Man, I'm going to piss like a racehorse again. Again, ran downstairs because the bathrooms aren't in the offices. They are actually downstairs. Public restrooms downstairs. Ran in there, closed the door, and I hear, you know, and I, Aaron's sitting there. Well, should I let your therapist know? No. So finally, I jumped, uh, got done, washed my hands real quick because, you know, no, it was early enough. No one was just going in there, and I ran out. I'm like, ah. Ran to my therapist appointment. Talked to him. He said he was going to get my referral sent out today or tomorrow. Well, I told him to do it tomorrow morning because as the session was unwinding, I said he, we got our date set and an email comes in. The email um, basically said that the referral from the psychiatrist didn't come. So, while I'm out and about, I made a quick stop. This, I'm not going to show you the entire thing because, you know, but this piece of paper is the referral information for gender confirming surgeries. And so I'm sitting there laughing and laughing and laughing because I go in there and I said, hey, you know, talking to the doctor's secretary. He doesn't send, oh, I sent it once with the attention of the doctor's assistant and once without. What's wrong? I haven't got anything yet. That's from the doctor himself. I'm sending it right now. Can I use your bathroom? I'm on a water pill. Oh, yeah, no problem, sweetheart. Come out right there. I'm like, great. 
can we go now? And everyone's like, yes, here's your information hard copy. I said, I'm getting one from my therapist, uh, PDF, and I'll print it. Please print out uh, this PDF as well at your library, even if it's a dollar or two. Print it out and keep it there. We can utilize it if we need to be after your appointment with psychiatrists. We'll work from there. I said, well, I recommend you call, because I emailed her, I said, I recommend you call the doctor's office tomorrow morning to confirm that the information was sent to them. Okay. So Aaron's calling for me. I'm, I, I, uh, I decided uh, to uh, get this so I know exactly what's going on. Apparently, my therapist has a copy of this too now. So he's got a copy, and etc. The therapist is also sending a copy to the psychiatrist of what he's sending out to the doctor. So I'm like, yes. So I get a PDF tomorrow of everything he said in his report. Apparently they followed their report and this is what they gave. So I'm hoping we're not missing anything because right now they're like, we haven't got anything. Well, I emailed the doctor. I said, did you, I mean, you didn't get anything from the uh, therapist or the psychiatrist. If you got, didn't get both, there's a problem because this secretary I saw today sent it out a third time in front of me. So, you know. So anyways, we get done and Aaron's like, Oh yeah, I'll show you what I got at the smoke shop uh, at lunch. We went out and got three cigars. One looks really cool. And I'm like, man. And he's like, we'll, we'll get you one uh, on uh, next time we're in town. So we're walking along. And we finally get into Jimmy John's. Now my neighbor, I said, here, place her order first. And Aaron's like, no, I'll do mine. So Aaron's like, oh, I'll take your number three and a number five. He gets his, you know, he's like, put it in here, give it to me, Rita. And I said, here's a cup. So I'm like, let's order. So I gave him the paper and the money for the neighbor downstairs. Not even appreciative. He's like, oh, yeah, all right, they go, yeah. It's like, we went out of your way and that's all you say? What an unappreciated, unappreciated old bag. So we finally got, we finally got, her info done. And that's probably telling me I heard a noise. It's probably telling me dinner. Yep. Anyways, so finally, I'm sitting there, and Aaron says, "This woman here, talking about me, is ready to place her." What? Oh, okay, sir. And I'm sitting there. I like the place. This guy's like, "Oh my way. Yeah, well, I want this and this." And I'm finally sitting there, gritting my teeth, like. So I finally looked at him. Hey, douchebag. You took my spot. Well, you know, freaks don't need to eat. Finally, I'm getting ready to knock him down with my cane, you know. And I'm like, you know what? He ain't worth it, you know. And he was, and then he's like, oh my word, freak. I'm like, so I finally said, I'd like to place an order. And the lady looked at me like, and the manager ran over. What is it you want? I says, I want a number eleven extra meat. Yes, ma'am anything else and you know he said ma'am I'd like a number 14 with extra meat no problem and I'd like a 17 with extra meat and bacon and because of all that problem and then he's like and I would like a pickle because the pickles are like this yes ma'am finally he's like you says seven here's cash and give me my damn food it, it's down there finally I got it out and I'm like mm. Aaron's like, I'm sorry you're having a bad day. Between your referral, something happened with that, or your info for gender reassignment surgery, and then this. I'm like, what? Yeah. So we finally get there, and Aaron's like, great, all the benches are taken at the park. Well, we found them. So we sat there, and I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm flipping through this info, you know. And Aaron's like, is it that important? I said, it is. Went, went, went. Finally got done. I'm like, oh, yeah. Everything is good. Oh, yeah. Everything is good. Finally, emailed the doctors, emailed the doctor's assistant for the psychiatrist, said, I'll be home soon. Got on the bus, the phone goes, and battery dead. Finally, we're cruising along on the bus, and Aaron's like, and I'm like, you know, because Moppy came to me, I'm like, what's wrong with Moppy? And he's like, so I was like, that is so cute, Moppy. 
So finally we did our same thing. We pulled into the nursing home first and the old lady was ah, well, I'll see you tomorrow too, blah 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 and I'm like I'm like, why does the taxpayers gotta pay for your trip all the way to the nursing home for husband, you know? And I didn't say it out loud, you know, Aaron just sitting there like we're never gonna get home. So finally we're driving down the sky's like, oh, Thought you missed me. Oh, I'm shopping. And he's like, you know, this is how it's like, Yeah, well, I went shopping. And so half the bus said, this is a medical shuttle. I went shopping. And then he's like, yeah, well, most of these freaking old people can't pack. I got a knife here in case. And he's like, put it away. It's for self-defense. I'm sitting there like, what a jack -off. We're cruising along, you know, going home. And I'm like, oh, what, oh, what do I do? We're driving along, you know, and I'm like, oh, yeah, we got that lady to drop off. Seven miles out of town, drop her off. We're cruising along, you know. Oh, we have to go by the big hospital twice, by the way, drop off and pick up. So I had to apologize to my therapist today. But anyways, we get in, and he's like, hey. And the guy was not with me, he says, hey. And Aaron's, uh, the guy looks at yes, uh, Aaron, can you drop us off up at blah, blah, blah? Sure. So we get off, and Aaron's like, we're going to go home, drop off the sandwiches for the unappreciative neighbor, and then we're going to go upstairs. So I washed my face, you know, cleaned up, moisturized it, and and then I decided afterwards to turn around and go to, um, to go to, what do you call it, um, home. And we gave her the sandwiches, and Aaron didn't message me or nothing. Finally, he comes to me because he picked up some pipe tobacco. He divided up a pound of tobacco for me, and I'm like, are you sure that's half a pound? Yeah, yeah. I didn't put it on a scale or nothing. I was like, yeah, okay. So, I can't look a gift horse in the mouth anyway. So, I was like, okay. So, we're like walking along. He's like, grab your key. We'll go by the post office. So I'm going to buy there, and I walked in, and... Lady's like, out of my way, you hoe again. I'm like, excuse me, I'm going to get a priority envelope. Wave to the person, right? And she's like, yeah, right, you're a hoe again. I'm like, no, that would be you, old Betty McGee. I walked out, ran into the postmaster, complained to him for a couple minutes. He's like, duly noted, I'll take care of it. Then it wasn't about that old Betty, you know. And so I'm like, finally. Aaron's like, well, you folded this up and folded that up. Do you think it'll copy fine? I'm like, it should copy just fine. We pay the dollar to copy, and it's like 15 cents. So it's like 30, 60, 90 cents to copy those pages. Once done, restaple and send it out to the doctor as a backup precaution. Okay. So then we get back, and Aaron's like, Aaron, I need to go and get me some soda. And I'm like, and you're complaining about your weight, yet you cut soda. Whoa, I can drink two two liters in a week. Fine. Then he's like, you must be a cow. You're buying milk. I got two more gallons for like $6. It was like three bucks. And it's not one of those regular brands, you know. So he's like, you shouldn't be buying that much, moo. I'm like, because I like it in my coffee and I like to drink it. Oh, and by the way, I got five boxes of cereal I need to eat up. Oh. Well, I'll see you tonight around 6 o'clock for dinner. So, then I sat there and I decided I sweep the floor. I got the floor all swept. Which, by the way, every time I sweep my floor, as a good woman that I am, I get Senior D grumpy, basically turning around. And uh, he turns around and he's eating his kibble. That's what I call his meat flavored cereal kibble, you know. While sitting here, he's behind this chair, by the way. His head's looking at me. Anyways, he's sitting there and he goes into the kitchen 50 times. So I gotta go to the office and sweep. Finally, I'm like, can you move? He's like, mm, yeah, mm, yeah. So finally, as I'm going into my bedroom to fold up some clothes, you know, it's on the bed. So if I look out the window, beautiful woman, low-cut top, you know, boom. I'm like, hmm, nice. The whole time, you know, moving around my room doing stuff, like a little worker bee. Apparently the woman was waiting for a child to get off the bus, but man, very beautiful and very top-heavy. 
which being a lesbian, you know, I can get away with like, oh yeah. Mm. But, you know, then I would <laughs> And if my aunt's watching, no offense, but that's how I think as a, um, as a lesbian, I can be a little perverted. So, anyways, finally I decide, you know, I'm just going to get this phone call out of the way. By the way, i got to talk about another phone call in a second, but I finally get on the phone, right? I ordered this Bible companion. My aunt's like, oh, it's great. I call him up. Please give your account information. Agent. Please give your account information. Agent. Finally, it's like, please give your account information. I don't have an effing account. Please wait for the next available operator. And the lady gets on. I told her my, my grumpiness. And she's like, oh, I'm so sorry. Apparently, they ship out about a month later. And I'm like, well, what the hell? My money disappeared on the up. Oh, well, it just shows a pending thing, and I'm going to give it back to you. I'm not spending it, so I'm finally like, like, praise the Lord, you know. So I finally get done, and I was thinking, you know, what about that, um, other issues, right? Like today, I... I emailed and Aaron's like, this guy here can get any pipe tobacco when you want. We'll go in on uh, the next time with your therapist or the psychiatrist and therapist. We'll load you up. Good, RL. Fine. Anyways, what about the traveling? Doors locked. So I'm sitting there and my therapist says, Penny for your thought, Rita. Yeah, Aaron says the, the um, travel agency is uh, locked, closed today. Therapist looks at me, are you sure it's not an excuse? I said, we could test that out. He's getting online. It's this one, right? Genesis Travel. I said, no, it's this one. Oh, well, I, I can't find it. I pull out the number, and I'm like, beep, beep, beep. Hello, my assistant was at the door. It was locked. Oh, our door was unlocked at 10. I don't know what's going on. My therapist sitting there <laughs> laughing and laughing and laughing. I mean, you couldn't stop laughing. But at the end, we were talking about old school RPGs like I am. And the new type, like I'm working on Dragon Age, he's like, you gotta try Dragon Age 2. You gotta try Dragon Age Inquisition. It's awesome. I know you're an RPG, or that's gonna be cool. Then he tells me he builds desktops. You know what, man? You've earned some brownie points with me. Beep, 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 beep. So, anyway, so tomorrow's business is, which I might update, a mini update is, phone call to the doctor. I mean, the last email I got from the doctor was... Not received anything yet. Thank you, doctor. <laughs> the thing was sent the 28th. It says right here, sent 28th. This is my copy because the doctor had to give permission. So when Aaron and I went through, Aaron says, you know, that's pretty damn good. Therapist's supposed to send me a copy tomorrow. But, man, I'm telling you, the phone call tomorrow is going to be interesting because I would like to know what the hell is going on. You know, that is the way I am uh, feeling right now. What the hell is going on? Aaron says he's got a theory, but it's only a theory, you know. So, um, um, so yeah, anyway, that is what the hell's going on right now, you know. So, um, so I got the calendar set up. I got my appointment made. Apparently, this is something that I didn't know. <clears throat> and I was going to fall through anyways. <clears throat> but the therapist sat there and the therapist says, can you make out the money order? I really, I'm like, burr, 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 burr. <clears throat> he looks at me like, I'm like, yeah, but you know, the first time I gave it to you, you filled it out. So I figured, what the hell, this time, or last, like, many times. So he's just like, you do well with it. You pay your own bills. I'm like, doo, 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 doo. and then I'm like, better keep an eye on that. He's like, why? It's a gel pen. I love gel pens being funny, you know, for the price I'm paying. He's like, tip for you. Never put it in your pants and then wash it. You wa and destroy the entire load of clothes. Is that before or after you throw it in the dryer? Dryer. I'll remember that. I keep a nice jar of them, so I always have them in my bag. So, um, so yeah, anyway, so on top of that, the manager's like, Oh, yeah, remember, you have a, uh, uh, what do you call it, a research for uh, these days. Well, we're not going to be on on Tuesday, so Tuesday's Adventure Day again. Do, 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 do,
radio! Do 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 do. <laughs> so, anyways, I just threw that in there for the Mario thing, but you get the whole point and the whole idea. Is today has just been real one weird thing after the other, you know, um, dealing with uh, the Bible company or that this one lady's like, well, and I basically said, hey, I'm transgendered. Address me. Well, I, I can't against my religion. I'm like, fine, call me Reverend. That's my actual title. Oh, yes, ma'am. I I'd rather call you ma'am than trans uh, Reverend. Yeah, okay. So, anyways, so I got two sandwiches for dinner and a bag of Doritos, and I will have my water and uh, maybe a pipe after dinner at the park. But, as I said, everything was kind of cheesy today. You know, what was that Chester Cheetos thing about cheesy? Or was it cheesy poops? Ah, anyways, I'm not going to go there. So, Anyways, we're now back relaxing, and uh, I just wanted to share with you all the fact that things are moving along. I'm just a little irritated that they said, oh, we didn't get anything. So I got the therapist, the psychiatrist, and Aaron all calling tomorrow. We're going to get to the bottom of the worst case scenario, priority envelope. It's going in the mail, and when I go and see the... Um, the uh, psychiatrist uh, again because I have to have a follow up which I didn't uh, I did feel you know uh, I, I, I was like oh yeah it's good but the thing is is she said that she wanted to keep an eye on me pre-operative and post-operative from the gender confirming surgeries because you know she doesn't want me doing anything stupid after surgery you know so the therapist said to me today, oh yes, you have to, by, by the group, we have to keep an eye on you even after surgeries. Well, I was planning to see him anyways, I just didn't know about a psychiatrist, but psychiatrist did her job and everything is good. So technically, I'm like, yay! So, you know, um, I also got to go through some medical records to submit to my therapist on uh, the... Fifth. Fifth, I think it is. Yeah, I mean, Jimmy John's again. Which is good. I spent like $25 for the sandwich today. $24.99. And I got three sandwiches and a pickle. So, who knows what's going to happen. Right now, I am going to be relaxing and uh, uploading this. And uh, hoping, like heck, tomorrow is a better day. So, um, because of the whole thing. So I've already put it into the calendar to call. Um, you know, I've emailed him already. I emailed him twice, once basically asking him specifically, is it the therapist or is it the psychiatrist or is it both? If it's both, I know damn good and well the psychiatrist's office sent it three times. She sent me the information, the, psychi the therapist said, well, we're doing it tonight. Well, I'm going to do it in the morning and I call the dang office up. She, he says that'll be planned because he's not going to sit there and basically you know, be, um, told, oh, we never got it. Well, he just sat there and faxed it. So, you know, there's something going on, and he's going to get to the bottom of it. Same with my therapist, or psychiatrist, I should say, uh, reception. I get them confused. So, anyways, everyone, I have nothing much else to report to you all. Uh, we were supposed to go to town tomorrow. We might move it up to Friday because we need a day of rest. Getting up at 3.30 in the morning and having Aaron, yeah, I was up at 5, is not good for me. I think Aaron took a nap, but I'm not positive. He's also addicted to Dragon Age, the game. Or not Dragon Age, Dragon's Dogma. He's also addicted to golf, MLB, the thing, some football, some hockey, and some other stuff. So, with that said, everyone, please, please add, subscribe, and look for another update in this whole saga of the referrals and me going into town yet again. I might meet up with my uncle on my mother's birthday for coffee. I haven't decided yet. With that said, everyone, please add, subscribe, post comments, leave suggestion, feedback, and add us as a friend. Thank you, and may God bless the world.